Good evening everyone, welcome to another live stream. It is Thursday, so we are going to throw things back to some L.A. Noir. I believe we've almost finished the Vice uh, desk and we're moving on to the Arson desk. I don't think we'll get through that tonight, there's like five or six cases I think there, so it's probably going to take two, maybe three streams to get through that one. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Going to try and stream for a bit longer tonight, but we'll see. This game has a tendency to piss me off with its randomness with the fucking questions and interrogations and all that bullshit, so we'll see how we go. But welcome everyone in the chat, we're going to get started, we'll jump over here. Hopefully the audio is okay and the visuals are okay, everything's working. I've gone all the way back to regular OBS, through Streamlabs OBS, down the fucking well. Fuck that shit, it's gone. So hopefully everything works good tonight, we'll see how we go. Just getting the game loaded up, we'll probably have some... Some cutscene bullshit to tell us what's going on and see who's burning things down. I'm not too bad, Trev. Not too bad at all. Hope you're doing good. Okay, so this is the last vice, uh, vice mission. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get Wait, didn't we do this? Tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Whatever kind of look you were going I'm confused. I thought we did this fucking last stream. God damn it. Just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. Did I fucking forget to save, or am I misremembering? Everyone has their vices. G'day, what's up? Welcome to the stream, mate. Why are we going into his office? I don't think we're meant to be doing that. I think I just was pushing the fucking control the wrong way. I'm confused. I'm... I feel like we've done this before, but I don't know. Yeah, there's no... <clears throat> All Gotta remember my way around this fucking other police station. Here we go. Ooh, hope I uh, hope that went well. Let's help if we go all the way to the fucking ground floor. Julie Woman's house, maybe, but I thought. Hmm, I don't know. And apparently I was on the ground floor of going to the fucking basement. God damn it. All over the shop tonight. This is going to be fucking interesting. <sighs> Everyone is a KGB agent or a Malika. <laughs> By the way, LA needs to be named to Cabbage Village Catfish. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Greek. <laughs> Everyone is a KGB agent or a Malaka. <laughs> Which, uh, the bot says totally wrong. Alright. You guys can see the Marker map now that I've moved the uh, cam over the other side. The Jesus Christ. There's a change in the wind. About time. This Shut wind up, will Tom. Be like a tornado I, I, Phelps. They weren't there initially, I swear. Puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Nah, we're not doing that shit at the moment. Not tonight. Maybe later, but not tonight. I do remember that case as well, Holden. But I thought the shooting at the 111 Club was last time. Unless I'm remembering that like very first snippet of it, because I wa we watched through the ending cutscene after the last case. That could be where I'm getting myself fucking muddled up. Better than normal? Um. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't be better than normal for this game. They'll be better than last uh, stream. Because, um, we're not using Streamlabs OBS taking up half the fucking computer. No. Like guys are already inside. Other than that, it looks normal to me. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. That's right, we were helping these we're guys before. Morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. 
Waitress said he recently came. Yeah, no, we haven't done this mission club. before. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Man, I was getting confused because we helped Homicide out last time with the fucking... Last drug murder. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Bitch, I'm fucking looking for the evidence right now. Just wait your turn. Need nothing. I doubt the cigarette's anything either, but we'll look at it just in case. Nope. Yeah, we'll take her back to the station for some, uh, quote-unquote, interrogation. This instrument. At least I gave you a fright when it went speeding behind you, thought you made a mistake. And now just responding. Oh, don't you hate that when they friggin' light up behind you? What's that click? What was that click? Another day, another dollar. I think there's possibly something underneath the trumpet. I don't know how we get to it though. Ah! Neat trick. Like that. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. I kept his stash close at hand. I hope everyone else out there is doing well tonight. We follow up on the musician angle. It is, yeah, the sec- that's right, because it was the other half of this band, they said it at the start. Fuck, can you tell my brain switched on tonight? See, can we give it a quick play? Apparently not. Trumpet. I know that I want to know what that is. He is a bit dead. Bit of a, a permanent ketchup now. We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Warning: maybe habit forming until it fucking kills you. Bit of a deadly habit, really. Okay, so nothing else really about him. Hmm. Probably nothing outside of here, so if he got shot from there, is there like someone else over here or what the hell going on? Seems weird. And weren't there meant to be other Vicks? Where are they hiding? Oh, hello, D-Man. Welcome to the stream, mate. Hope you're doing good. Oh, fucking right here. He got shot a lot more times. A dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Poison dart inside the trumpet. Oh, okay. That, that's... Much more reasonable. I don't fucking trust him being here with the body. What's he been doing? Fucking hiding or planting evidence is my guess. Bad luck, Eddie. <laughs> don't give a cock. No, I couldn't kill you. <laughs> Knowing the wrong people in this city. <laughs> I 
this is the message that the gunman wanted him dead as fuck. Pretty much. Sends a message, you die now, very fucking muchly. Completely. This dickhead's got no evidence for us at all. Ah, uh, so they're basically evidence markers. Um, they don't really mean anything other than the order that they put out, like A, B, C, D. And they then used, I believe, as like a reference point. So in the actual court case, they'd refer to, you know, evidence item D, things like that. Ooh, the safe's open. We can't... Oh, yes, we can interact with it. They didn't even try to crack the safe. I don't think they needed to. It seemed to be open. They either knew the combination or it was already open. Something we've missed because the music's still going. He was here. Ah, uh, not in the game, no. But just in like general with uh, like investigations and things. Have we fucking missed? Ah, there was more evidence in the back. But it's not only set long ago, this was made like ten carton. years ago or something. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. But Rockstar make good games, mostly. Oh yeah, we'll just fucking chuck that in the boot, shall we? Think I want to keep this gun? These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get Fucking three? three? It's a good effort. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Well, let's have a quote unquote word with the hostess first. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. I bet she says that every day. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence there, but I don't know. I don't trust her. You want to level with me, miss? Before we start taking an interest in you, this place has been we on fucking got one right. Years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting so? It was the fucking mobsters. <laughs> exactly, hold it. If she, if it's her day off, why the fuck is she there? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Think that's true? Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head. I fucking got a thing, like, sense. fully right. That never happens. Another day, another dollar. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk to us, so we have to go back to the station now, look up the ship and all the stuff that got stolen off it. Although, did it really get stolen if it's army dudes stealing it? I mean, it's still stolen, but, you know, it's not like organised crime hitting a fucking military thing. And hello, Lone Wolf Racing, welcome to the stream! Uh, I think we'll go to the station before we go to the blue room. How well did you know the owner? 
Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. By army you. fucking surplus weapons too. Trying to adjust to Technically, life. fucking mixed friendly fire. The, crowds. the kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Anything's right. Fucking not crashing into every car. What the hell is going on tonight? Whatever it is, I don't mind it. Ooh. Except now you guys can see when I go fucking too far past the bloody waypoint. We still don't have a fucking light on our police car. Get out the fucking way! Yay for cutscenes. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone no, hold on. That was just a, just a little Brenda bit of a bingle. Are we cops or a collection agent? <laughs> Not the LS models. You got some nice emojis there, Tom. The street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. <laughs> so where to stoke Fuck it makes sense. He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. On you. Phelps isn't involved in any of that shit. Working, uh... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I think by now we'd know where the fucking squad room is. I mean, not me, but Phelps should. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons. Crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. So those alerts are still way too fucking loud, but thank you for the host, Panda. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? I see now, indeed. And find the goddamn evidence. This is the crate we recovered. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. I want to make oh, just all the fucking things in a circle. That makes it easy. Half a million surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Don't know if there's anything else we need to fucking click on there. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. Fucking Kelso. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. And we know it was uh, Cohen from the fucking cutscene that we saw last stream, I think it was. I think it was the newspaper one. Uh, what the fuck do we get out of here now? Exit. That's right, they had an exit signs now. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Hey, 
me too. I love pretty much everything about this era. Like, the cars were awesome, the music was nice, fucking outfits were decent. So, half your old lackeys were on that boat. The late Mr. Goldrick included. They weren't my lackeys. Subordinates then, whatever you want to call them. There were a lot of people on that boat. Maybe you're behind this whole thing, Phelps. <laughs> that would be, be fucking funny. Stroke. Hey, cut me in early and we'll ride this one into the sunset. <laughs> Sounds and like there we have the proof that he's fucking board. dirty. We should call it a day and go home. And miss out on the blue room? I couldn't do that to you. Shit! Well, so much for the fucking good driving. You had to had to end very soon. Fucking drunk tonight. Maybe that's the problem. You just want to be able to get people to make your sandwiches, though, Tom. That's what that's about. No, oh, it was it was a great time. Well, from all the media I've seen, anyway, I obviously wasn't around then. I can talk to anyone here. Good. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. <laughs> wow. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stonefura? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Boy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Like, does she fucking forget that we fought in the war? We, like, killed her people? Literally? People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. Can't or fucking won't? A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? No, but he's black threat man should. Supply nothing? You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man Fair. supplies, black man buys. He seems to be fucking very mouthy, actually, that dude. He's interjected twice My now. My partner mentioned a couple of names. One question. Do you recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, bullshit. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. She literally is a KGB that. agent. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Things usually didn't go well for Why that type of guy back the then. Talking about they, the they didn't. They could have them jailed. Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Malkodic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the, the laws of the city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking you questions. If you shoot questions. them, oh yes. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Of course she does, Very Greg. Cool. Of course she does. Words are just words, Cole Phelps. 
What the fuck right. is going on with those pants? We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. Of course he knows where to find him. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. <laughs> Apparently Cole wants Don't to bang too. I wouldn't do, partner. So like anything is on the on the cards? Well, except an honest day's work. Awesome, we get another fucking tail mission. I love these, they're my favourite. It's not even stealth with these, it's just fucking bullshit. I don't know that I like the uh, German accent, personally. They always sound angry. Everything in German just automatically is angry. Not doing too bad so far. You don't think German sounds angry? Like every German word I can think of just sounds like angry. She kinda looks like Phelps a bit. I hope to God this aren't going to get Tasmanian. No, he's not German, Greek. He's American. Deep fried, gun toting, cigarette smoking American. You watch it be fucking Ray's place. It's going to be interesting to see his explanation. going on now? No fucking clue what just happened there. PD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. Oh, there's going to be trouble. That mascara. She wants a five-star goddamn way. God damn it all! I asked them to hold the mayo. Check that could LAPD. be it. Hold him. That could questions. be it. Hi, Regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the mall. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite <laughs> wow. remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime? Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. Brady, welcome to the stream. Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. 
I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Hear that. Do I need my lawyer? Why not? Uh, probably. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Don't know if we've got anything to prove it. No. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. Ran of so just want to pick up a fresh match. Oh my god, Panda. <laughs> kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. So he's basically just a admitted to being Negro a criminal. saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys he's pretty respectable lunch? for a mobster. How about a drink? Got we'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut oh. that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in oh. those packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright in that easy. We'll see. I mean, they're fucking Marines. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every Oh, Jesus car. Christ. Go. Basically fucking terrorism at this point. Shit. And there's fucking excited music, which means we probably have to fucking rush. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. I just don't know how to handle the <laughs> Get the KGP bitch <laughs> to get it back off them. <laughs> no, KGPL is basically a dispatch. Hello? Um, I would like to point out, every car, but not them, not all the dudes sitting in the fucking that office. Much. This was a bloody basket guy, fucking. No, he was a legitimate businessman, Mickey Cohen. Good, good lad. G'day Walter, welcome to the stream, mate. We have a uh, bus shooting to get to. Oh, the, the Germans. Brakes didn't quite work too well. Oh, we're getting a bit of fucking texture loading. That's interesting. Why not, was I? <laughs> then the bullets that whiz past your ear can go out the back without uh, breaking your car. Oh, that sounds like a fucking BAR. I fucking hope so, Holden, because I'm going to need it. Get down, you fucking idiots! They're just standing up in the fucking way of the windows. What the hell? That way I'm not. Fuck you. Go around the smart way. And apparently no, just a fucking pistol. How the 
fuck did he know I was up here? Down. Shit. Can't actually get up there from here. Reinforcements are on the way. Seats and assist. Come on, Malaka, stick your fucking head up. Who the fuck is he? Wow. So I fucking shot him from there. What the hell? The first guy to like only take two shots. Happy with that? Fuck searching his body though, I want his gun. No, not as evidence, I wanted to shoot people with. Stupid game. It's one of the BARs. Yep, he's, he's definitely human. I mean, yep, definitely dead. Oh, good, he's got some ID. Phone number and restaurant table. Oh! Oh, and whose fucking restaurant table is that? Mickey fucking Cohen. Doesn't necessarily mean he's working for Mickey. Mickey could have been another target. But... There's definitely a fucking connection there. Is on K I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like oh. Goldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. It's the fucking Alvaro. bus driver. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. You are some sort of pachuco punk. have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Oh, okay, hey, Nick. Welcome to the stream, mate. So what happened? <laughs> Not much. Uh, the cops came should be Mario Kart on God. <laughs> Was his name in the manifest? I don't think we can look at it again. No. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical exam. And g'day Stevie, welcome Eddie to the stream Goldrick's as well. Brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came uh, no, with that's, that's false. He was a marine. Everybody he didn't have any brains. Profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. <laughs> Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Because you're not a fucking idiot. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. Had to get one wrong eventually. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack That means Mick must be the Saw bad luck the symbol. Because we've gotten them all months. right till uh, Mick showed up. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. I blame you, Mick. It's all your fault. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Not at all. Nice day for it. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue. You see, back in the 40s, they didn't have Siri on their Thanks mobile phones. They had her on like the street corner phones. It's not really Siri, but kind of sounds like it. There's an olden day fucking ambulance. That looks basically just like a van 
with ambulance on the side. Still no fucking sirens. Oh, uh, we probably can. Let's find out. We drove a fire fire truck last stream, so why not an ambulance this stream? Enjoy your uh, enjoy your feed, Holden. Enjoy. It's, it's Jack was a company sergeant. Fucking weird to drive. We would never get involved in something like this. We oh, he's the fucking ringleader. Won't work. He's a tough customer. Oh, the bus has been shot to shit. Like this call was a um, a guy on the roof with a BAR shooting the fuck out of the bus. So we don't want to drive that. It's broken. The siren sounds fucking morbid. No, still no lights. Not even any lights on the fire truck last time. Only All fucking one mirror. And any central unit. Citizen reports of 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. Like, is this an ambulance or a fucking morgue truck? Oh, what? Child, idiot. I mean, it's back in the 40s. They probably just all used the same radio. <laughs> Ambulance sounding more, but Hello, no. Jack. <laughs> this is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. No, not really. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better not for yet. all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. But yet he comes with us anyway. I'll give in, Jack. Cut the ambulance and a nurse are pretty much the same thing. You would hope not. You. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. It's a, it's a magical ambulance. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Hmm. You want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. You wouldn't know why Eddie McGoldrick had three of them. The goddamn fool. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. I have no fucking clue. Doubt's been wrong the other two times, so we'll go with the truth this time, and it'll probably be... Ooh. That looked like a very fucking guilty gulp then. So I'm going to press X to doubt one more time. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we they have guys like the unit being killed Men the Marines, they're brothers in we arms. put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? I'm not new outfit. Calling yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. That was an interesting like cutscene, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. 
I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is the Chris Well, I guess he's uh, innocent. Another name from the manifest? Fucking all these shootings everywhere. We're getting no answers. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged? <laughs> For now. <laughs> Back in ancient Greece, they <laughs> used to use you scopes like for sirens. In an elevator with a married couple who can't decide I'm sure they back in ancient Greece, they used goats for a lot of things. Long you went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own bed. Get out of the way, idiot. Hey, this is the place that we shot the fucking gas tanks they out. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go they on, went that way into that car right in front of you. Shit. Slowed down a bit too much there. Uh, Ray, do you want to fucking do something maybe and shoot these assholes back? No good, we need to get closer. Well, they're close enough to shoot your fucking hat off. This asshole off the road. What did they do, so Forking? No, not that. I meant eating. Get out of the double. <laughs> oh, thank you for the cheer, Mick. And thank you for the resub, Bruni. You're welcome to the stream as well, buddy. Trying to catch these bastards who will hopefully lead us back to the mobsters. If this dickhead in our passenger seat could shoot. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Damn it, I thought we got to jump then. Jesus, that was a fucking... Jeez. Fucking shooting on point tonight as well, holy shit. <laughs> no worries, Brony, enjoy your day at work. I don't know who's worse, GTA 5 partner or this dude. <laughs> I mean, he's better than fucking the fat partner we had before. Oh, what a surprise. The same army surplus guns. Let's see who these dickheads are. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. No, they weren't wasted wounds, they uh, wasted shots, they were warning shots. Interesting. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. thousand rounds on one dude. Not quite. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Oh, we've got a uh, newspaper thing to watch first. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? Oh! District Attorney? The traitor in guy? our midst. And what does he want, Horrell? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? 
Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Wait, what? Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the this LAPD. This motherfucker's setting us up. And his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. This dirty rat bastard. And g'day Wally, welcome to the stream. Right, I guess we have to go to the other uh, victims and try to get them before they get killed. really want dickhead in the car with the snow out well now knowing he's a fucking traitor uh, we're going to the chinese restaurant guys from the ship why for a succulent chinese meal how do they meal. get them the dough they obviously don't know who has the morph <laughs> likes fingering off says oh my god Mick. <laughs> oh that is just terrible Pretty sure to be less than a million. Could be wrong. But I wouldn't have thought it'd be that many. Oh shit, too late. Are you waiting to receive my leave? Oh, they're waiting to shoot the shit out of some people. They, they know their gunplay well. Shit. It's no good. We need to get closer. Spin him out. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Get not successful at all. Shoot. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Let's see how fast he runs. Fucking flipped over. Sorry, lady. Shit, where's the other dude running to? I didn't fucking notice he was running off. Got fucking there. 1.45 million people. That's a fucking lot of people. Why do they look so sad when they kill the bad guys? They're bad guys. What you meant to do with him, isn't it? So I guess we go to the other one now. We're fucking busy at the moment, Dispatch. We've actually got, like, some murders to fucking stop. They are literally the opposite. You are right. Absolutely right, Lozo. Fucking stupid taxis.
I, I just saw what you meant there was me. gets the fucking shotgun from the boat. He was not legally stopped in traffic, he was in the fucking way. Well, the fucking good aim's going to shit. Getting the fucking big gun first. Are you trying to get yourself Ooh. killed? Sure, that'll do. Now we can waste all the rounds. Throw out the guns. Say hello to my little friend. Just drops on the ground. That was the fucking... That was theirs. It totally wasn't ours. Tell Courtney... Bad, bad luck. <coughs> Tell Courtney bad luck? What was worth a try, motherfucker? What are you talking about? Apparently we can't fucking do anything but check his arms. Oh, we can actually get this thing. Good. Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Yeah, just adding the gun to the Most evidence. people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Well, I know you fucking would, Roy, selling us out to the fucking politicians. I see there's no other evidence here. Oh, Lenny's the dude that we already arrested or killed at the, um, ice factory. So he's already been fucked. Quality is an American trait. And Americans recognize quality whether they're in New York, Milwaukee, Chicago... So where the fuck do we... No, there's still stuff here, obviously, because it's still marked. Maybe now that he's dead, it'll let us check his pockets. Nope, still just the fucking arms. <laughs> that is a good point. Fucking evidence control? Who needs evidence control? We control the evidence so we can arrest whoever the fuck we want to. For whatever the fuck we say they did. As you said, Mick, there's not that much difference between a uh, Hertz and an ambulance. Apparently you were more right than I thought. Can't, can't put him live in the back. Gotta wait for him to die first. Otherwise I gotta wash it. So there's literally no fucking evidence here.
Ah. The other dude that they shot. The West tell the truth even when they lie. <laughs> Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing else on this dude. And that's the last clue we need to. Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. So such good. So good fucking selling drugs to people. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Yeah, like you, dickhead. You know what? You can fucking walk to the next place. If we can get in the car quick enough and get out of here. Oh! Fuck's sake. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hit? All Stupid fucking tram! Way. Give way to my siren Your next time. Are in way over their heads. I know it can't. Being a marine doesn't mean be in the shit here. It's a good game, Mick. I quite enjoy it. We still got a fair bit to go too. In fact, you might enjoy the next uh, desk because the next one is all the uh, arson cases. We might even get to drive another fire truck. Yeah, this isn't going to look sus at all. We'll just rock up to the meeting place. Alright, let's kill these red bastards. And they're going to shoot us instead of the fucking mobsters. Riri! Next. Find some cover. We don't need cover. He's up on the fucking roof. Shit! 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 Get out the fucking way, idiot! Not the fucking pole, you idiot! Holy hell! I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. <laughs> it's Carl Evan King, come in. Carl Evan King. Evan K, go to Hollywood Station. A hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol. <laughs> That's not correct protocol. Carl Evan King on route. <laughs> oh, no fucking shit. It's not correct protocol, bitch. A fine gentleman playing in ballrooms across America. Louis Armstrong. Dark music. Not every shot, thank you. Just the warning shots. Fuck that hydrant. That one hydrant specifically has been pissing me off all game. It's fucking dead like it belongs. Yeah, I like to fire like an entire clip of warning shots at someone before I shoot them in the head. It's, it's like polite, I think. That way. Roy, in my office, if you please. And here we go. He's fucking setting us up. Close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, oh, it's this. 
dodgy bastard. No, but this is more important. I knew he was fucking dodgy from the start. I said it. He's got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Um, we don't actually know which. Oh, there he is. There find the goddamn evidence. I was gonna say we don't know which fucking room he's in, but Sheldon, it's right there. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came oh, down here to this help dude. Me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Not oh, anymore. That's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. This is your automobile, I'm fucking using my intuition point for this. <clears throat> well, that's annoying. Plan meeting between Sheldon and Mickey Cohen, so yes, we can. You're a fucking lying piece Mine, of shit. Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old lead. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Because he gave it to the fucking doctor dude. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, detective. Well, you're not a fucking lie detector machine, so I don't give a shit. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. But, like, we already proved that he was. Oh, yeah. That's, that does. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Ah, uh, the fucking dying words of one of your compadres, dickhead. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. See you, Wally. Thanks for watching, mate. Hope you've belt. enjoyed. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the <laughs> morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor. Uh-oh. Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Dirty rat bastard Roy. Done fucked us. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromise. The Germans. Pictures. He's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer. Is that actually that a fucking crime? I understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until you're bored here. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. Well, if I don't fucking work for you, you can't order me to do shit. What the hell were you thinking? Uh, 
I was thinking a lot of Aktung. And the first time we ever see his wife is when she leaves us. Fan fantastic. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? I am the police, Marie, bitch. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I've like we haven't seen you this entire I've game, been bitch. I've lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. <laughs> Fucking news doesn't know we don't have a gun in there. That's just fucking depressing. Still cut scenes. Is he seriously going to the fucking German bitch? Guess he may as well at this point. So even though we did fucking meritorious three stars, probably one of my best cases in a little while, we've been demoted down to the arson desk. I am going to actually make it a shorter stream tonight, guys, and wrap it up there. Um, just noticed my computer's getting a bit hot and it's getting a bit warm in here. And it seems like a good kind of cliffhanger point to leave it for next time. I don't...